Happy Friday, folks. Okay, so today's episode, we're talking about, a, it's described as the genius entrepreneur who built a £140 million business with a very, very simple strategy. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Right, so if you don't know me, my name's Dean Bowie. What we do is I lift the lid for soft storage and give all my numbers. I try to document my journey from nothing, literally nothing, uh, to a nine-figure exit. Yes, I know that's supposed to be £100 million, but that's my aim. That's what we're trying to do. Currently, we have six sites, hopefully soon to be seven with our first freehold. And if you want more information on a regular basis, head on over to mrselfstories.com. I give you an email every single day about the quotes, reservations, blah, 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 you name it, you've got it there. Uh, so mrselfstories.com, head on over there. Okay, so I got today's episode from somebody I'm not even connected to on LinkedIn, but somebody I know made a comment on his post and I was like, what's this about? And I, I wanted to share it with you because I think there's some real business lessons here. So this guy called Sam Winsbury, he put this message. I'm going to read, read it word for word. This is what he put on LinkedIn. And I think it's so valuable. There's some lessons here that are very, very simple but not many people do them. And so it's something that you can take away in your business and you can hopefully profit from. Right, so I'm, here's what he said. This, this genius entrepreneur built a 150, £140 million pound business with a strategy that's so simple, that's so smart, yet so simple. I can't believe more people don't do it. Here's how it works so you can copy it. Charlie Mullins was the founder of Pimley Co. Plumbers. I, I know all about Charlie. I've listened to tons of podcasts with him in. I think he's an absolutely awesome guy. he got crazy hair and he lives in a massive apartment. I think he's a penthouse. Does he have a car? I can't remember. There's some, there's some car lift or something. Anyway, it's... It's absolutely fantastic. I'm sure it's a lift. Of, I could be wrong here, but I'm, I think there's a lift that you can just go in with your car and it goes up to his floor. Anyway, not so sure about that. I, I don't know why I've got that from. Anyway, he's an awesome, awesome entrepreneur. Just a real, seems a real nice guy. So Charlie Mullin, Mullins was the founder of Pimlico Plumbers, a trades company in London, which he sold for $114 million. But how did he become the, country, the country's leading trades business? It's simple. He started by writing down everything people would complain about when they worked with tradesmen, i.e. they were late, they left the house untidy, they weren't polite, they weren't clear on the price, they looked shabby. Mullins then fixed all the problems and baked higher standards into the DNA of his company. It was followed like religion. That allowed him to charge, this is a key point, 30% more than his competitors and still be the number one choice. You can do this too. Write down everything your competitors are doing badly and make sure you correct them. I love this. I really do. You really don't need to reinvent the wheel. That's it. That's that's a full person. There's a picture of Charlie underneath. I genuinely think... This is fantastic. We've just got to look at what people get annoyed at, look at what our competition are doing poorly and improve on it. It's not rocket science and we can all do it. So whatever industry you're in, if it's self-storage, right, okay, if you as a customer with yourself, what, what we all know what we do poorly, what don't we do? I know what people are going to think in here. Well, we had prices. Yes, we hide prices. We and we, if you don't know, we hide prices. As in, to get a price, you need to give us. We hide it by an, what's called an information wall. So to get a price from us, you put in some details, i.e., Dean Booty, telephone number, email address, and then we give you a price. Why do we do this? Simple reason why we do it. You don't do it in America. The Americans can't believe that we don't show prices in America. You log on and you say fifty square foot. Yep, yeah, there's a price. But in America. There's a bigger, bigger, bigger understanding of self storage. People, of, of, for, for the wider public, most people know what it is because of storage wars, etc. Some, and they're everywhere. Self storage is everywhere. Most, not most, a lot of the but most of the population have already used self storage in America, so they already know what it is. However, in America, sorry, in the UK, 
customers aren't educated with self storage, so they don't know a good product from a bad product, etc. So we like to educate our customers, but also customers don't know what sizes they need in England because they've never, most people have never used self storage before, and so therefore we've got to educate them. So that's why we hide, we, we put our prices behind an information wall, but. That is certainly something you can try. So what what are the pain points for your customers? And how do we find the pain point for our customers? We talk to them. We talk to our customers more. The more we talk to our customers, the more we understand our customers. The more we understand our customers, the more we can help our customers. The more we help our customers, the more that ultimately we profit from it as well. And I'm not saying that profit is the only thing because ultimately we're trying to help our customers. It comes hand in hand. The more you help your customers, and the more value you give, the more they are going to choose you and use you. And so, yeah, only a short episode today. Um, I'm currently away in Wales in my little tour. Yes, I'm a gypsy, but I love it. I, well, the only thing I don't love is, I don't know, why am I, why? Sometimes I just shut up and don't talk. Why? Why are you saying these things? Right, I started down, the only thing I don't like is in tourers, you've got to get rid of the waste. The waste. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet waste. And obviously, we, we, me and my wife always joke about we have blue jobs and we have pink jobs. And so uh, Claire's is the pink job, mine's the blue jobs. Guess which this falls in? Oh, I hate it, honestly, because then you've got tickets. It's chemical players, not on the caravan park. It's like it's... Uh, and you just... Anyway, you get the point. You've got to tip it up. And I, I've got these gloves. Other manly men, like, just... Yeah. I've got these like plastic gloves, so my hands don't touch nothing. Anyway, that's the only part of caravan I don't like. Uh, yeah, I suppose it is the only. Well, do you know what? It's it's nice to be taken away from the luxury of a house because whatever your house is, it's luxury. Like running water, you in in a caravan. We we've got to fill up. Well, it depends if you've got a super pitch. I think we've got a super pitch this time, so you can connect it into the wall. But normally, you have a big humbler if you like and you roll it with full of water so you've got to be careful how much your water you you use and the great thing about caravan holiday is when you get back you're like you're like really appreciate your house you really appreciate the simple things in life anyway so right now when you listen to this i'll be uh sorting out the waste all right my friends i love you i appreciate you and i will see you on monday when i'll be doing a podcast from wales in my caravan and so you can see my caravan <laughs> all right guys have a wonderful weekend i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you on Monday. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter, mrselfstories.com. See you soon, dudes and dudettes.